Hello, hi. I know, it's been a minute. Um, life happened. I had construction workers in my house for a month. Um, congratulations to Crystal, the new winner of UK. And Eve is finally gone on Canada. I am a couple episodes behind. I will do my best to catch up. But that's not why we're here. We are here to talk about the newly announced cast for season 14 of US Drag Race. Girl, we are not breathing. Their foot is on our neck. Let's go. So just overall, the promo, it's like shoots and ladders, ver like meets Candyland with RuPaul as Willy Wonka. There's like a twist involving a candy bar. What? But I will say the theme for this look is iconic and fantastic. This is a fully executed like theme. It was games. The reveal runway was like crane games. The crown was in one of the crane games. It's just smart. First up, we have Alyssa Hunter. Girls, y'all better brace. I have been an Alyssa Hunter fan for years, girl. Years, darling. And I will say, this entrance look is giving me very neon warrior princess. And... All I will tell you about Alyssa, and I'll let you do your own work, is the bitch serves a look. This look is a 100% yes. Now, you're gonna be like, Miss Mama, you got her name wrong, but that's what's gonna happen because I am recording this hours after I watched it. I watched it, fell asleep, woke up, took a shower, and here we are. Our next girl is Angeria Paris Van Michaels. Mama. Tina Burner wishes. <laughs> Girl! It is a full serve. I don't know what their prompt was for their promo looks because they're standing on a shoots and ladder board and they're all in nothing that matches. But I will say that this is very high drag. This is, this bitch can serve a look. I'm not going to go too much into the personalities because we only got a snippet. Maybe if they do a Meet the Queens, I'll do a separate video. But based on the look alone, this is a yes. Bosco looks like she got this outfit at Costco. It doesn't even hit the floor. I'm very unimpressed. Mess. Oh, our first mess of season 14, Bosco. Daya Betty, mess. The hair's little, the hair is too little for this look. There is too much going on. The breast area looks like it was made for a toddler and then put onto an adult man's costume. This is, this had the possibility to be a yes, but it's a mess. Miss Deja Sky, honey, yes. All of this is a yes. We got a big bitch who knows proportions, who knows how to beat a mug. This is a yes. The colors are great. The star accents are just enough. They tie into the hair and the jewelry and the nails. Jasmine Kennedy, my New York sister, she fills in for me, well used to, at Playhouse when I couldn't go. Um, what a doll. I will tell you that. I love Miss Jasmine and the talent. The talent, girl. Jasmine is it. I like this look. It's fully executed. It is a look that I don't think I've seen before. I would never in my life have put these colors together. They work perfectly. The hair is great. The jewelry. She has a beautiful body. She's posed down to her finger. This is an absolute yes. Georges, honey. Yes. The feathers alone. Yes. She's giving us like cut out legging that goes over the foot and like it just connects it's perfect this whole look there's not one thing i don't like georgia's in my mind is going to be one to watch june jambalaya bitch yes you know who i live for june jambalaya mama two of my absolute favorite colors put together neon green hot pink it is executed to perfection the earrings with the extra fabric yes 
This is a yes, June Jambalaya. And the bitch is fish. We do got a bit of a cliffhanger on that toe. Carrie Colby from the House of Colby. Mother is probably Sasha Colby. Miss Thing, do your research. I am a fan of Carrie Colby. I've followed her on Instagram for quite some time. The doll gets it. I am here for it. The look. The shoe is so cool. Even the straps I don't hate. It ties into the dress. Everything for me is a yes. I am not living for the flat hair, but I know Carrie's aesthetic, and this is very it. Yes. Yes, why not? Yes. Cornbread the Snack Jeté. I'm not comparing her to any other queen I've ever seen. Yet. The look. Um, is she a beetle? A stink bug? I'm not sure what's going on. I like the outfit. I like parts of the outfit. Let's tone it down. I do love that the black skirt has a red lining. Thank you for the details. None of this excites me. It's an incredibly soft yes. Lady Camden. See, like she looks like she got the Willy Wonka theme. It's a very well executed look. I don't know. Nothing about it thrills me. I'm not excited about any of it. I like the hat. I, I like the hat. Yes. Ugh. Maddie Morphosis. Mama. There's a straight white man playing around in drag, but we can't get trans girls. The look's great. I'm excited to see this, to be quite honest. It's a yes. Orion Story. Outfit I immediately know is by Ray Ortiz. I do not like the hair with this. I don't like her makeup at all. Mess. Willow Pill. She's gonna be like, fun! I don't wear breasts. It's fun, it's different. Again, very different from everything everyone else did. It's well executed. I'm gonna give it a yes. <sighs> All right, girls. So those are our 14 girls for season 14 coming to us January 7th. So let's get ready. I, for once, don't know any spoilers. There's only one New York girl. This, when was the last time? That's it, girls. Season 14. Let me know who your favorites are, who you do like, who you don't like, the outfits you like, the outfits you don't like. Let's start talking shit about the dolls way before their season airs. My name's Logan Hardcore. Give me a like, a subscribe, a cart, a follow. Bitch, just do the shit that everyone else tells you to, okay? Bye!